Hello everyone, Tillery here and today I have a new Creative Faith Cuttable and they are hymn lyrics. This was something that I was wanting to use in my hymnal and so I created it for you guys. <laughs> um, so each page has a selection of hymn lyrics and then above it I wrote out the name of the hymn and then a Bible verse that you could also use to journal with it. So you do not need to have a hymnal to use these. And I'll be sure to put a link in the description below um, to where you guys can go to download your copy. And so you see I printed it on, my, on regular printer paper and then I also printed a set on uh, sticker paper and on vellum and so today I'm going to be using the vellum uh, lyric set that I printed in my hymnal. So to start off today I got this set of die cuts from Craft Warehouse on Super Sale and I also got to use a gift card so it was basically free <laughs> and I love using die cuts and I have a lot of them and so I was really excited today to pull some really beautiful ones to help document um, what God is teaching me through this hymn. And so I mostly pulled flowers and um, a bird and just things that kind of represented the beauty of the earth to me. <laughs> and you'll see in the top corner, I have some major bleed through from the page on the other side. And so you guys will see today what I do to combat the bleed through. <laughs> so I end up taking some white paint and using an old Starbucks card, I am just kind of scraping that white paint along the parts that I want to cover. And then I'm going to go over it also with watercolor and with neo color. And I've realized I really, I've been, like if you've been watching any of my YouTube videos, you know, I really like to use, I want to try and use neo colors, <laughs> but it's hard for me to figure out how to use them, but I really enjoy putting them on top of white paint. The color just seems to react well to that. So you'll see me do that uh, in this video also. So I have this book called Then Sings My Soul, and I'll put a link in the description below to the, uh, the book on Amazon if you guys want to check it out. And this book talks, it has a bunch of different stories about hymns, and I love learning about stories behind hymns. And I have even have some blog posts about that. So I'll put the link in the description below if you want to check out um, my blog posts where I talk about some of the stories behind some different hymns. But it's just really fascinating to me. And I just, um, you know, I studied English in college. And so I just love stories and stories behind why people write or create things. And so I wanted to share today a little bit about um, the author and about what this book had to say about the hymn for the beauty of the earth. And so it was evidently written by a man named Foliot Sandford Pierpoint. And it says, one day when he was 29, Foliot found himself walking in the countryside on a beautiful spring day. He saw the ocean of green, the blue dome of heaven, and the winding Avon River cutting through the flowery landscape. Overwhelmed with God's creative brilliance, he wrote this poem. And then it says, um, For the beauty of the earth is one of only a few songs devoted purely to giving thanks. One of the strange things about the attitude of gratitude is that we tend to exhibit it in reverse proportion to the number of blessings received. The more we have, the less thankful we are. And so then it goes on to talking about how oftentimes, you know, those who have the least are those who are most thankful. And um, so it talks about how we need to be thankful and sing to the Lord a song of praise. Um, even when we are struggling or um, are kind of having a hard time. And so I just really loved hearing that, uh, the kind of heart behind the hymn and thinking about how we can apply that to our own lives too, about how we can look around and see you know, all the beauty of flowers and all the beauty of the birds. And even when we are really struggling, we can still praise the Lord. 
So while I was reading that, I, in the video, I added some watercolors on top of the Neo Colors in the white paint. And those watercolors came from the store Dots and Dust. Um, I will put a link in the description below to her Etsy store. Angeline is one of my dearest Instagram friends and she just creates um, some really beautiful watercolors and she has sent me some samples. So I used Late Nights, which I don't think is available anymore. And then I also used um, Denim Diva and I just, the watercolors are so beautiful. You can't see the, as much of their pretty colors because the hem pages um, are a little bit discolored due to age. But definitely check out Angeline's Etsy store. She is just a wonderful creator. So then you saw me take a stamp and I used my Neo or my big brush pens and I stamped just to add some more texture to the background. And I've used my big brush pens on stamps before. I saw Lindsay, her YouTube channel, Lindsay Decor. She had used um, her big brush pens on a textured stamp and she didn't even put it on the clear block. I thought that is a good idea. <laughs> um, so just as a way to add texture but not be like super exact or precise about it and I just think it looks really pretty and so I just stamped that down a few times. So then now I have cut out the lyric for this song that I'm kind of focused on that um, that was the lyric that I hand lettered. So all of these, all of the hymn lyrics, I it's my hand lettering. Someone had sent me a Instagram message and said, I love the font you used. And I said, oh, it's actually my own hand lettering. <laughs> so it was just a really beautiful project for me to work on hand lettering out these hymn lyrics. And so this one says, Lord of all, to thee we raise this our grateful psalm of praise. And I was just really thinking about um, how, you know, what it means to be grateful and thankful and sing to the Lord even when our lives are maybe challenging. So now you'll see I am just using my tape runner to adhere down all these little bits and the flowers, everything besides the tab came from the die cut set. And the, t the tab I actually punched out of an old calendar. And so I originally I was gonna use kind of a peach tab, but then I decided to go with this black one. So like I mentioned earlier, each of the hymn lyrics also comes with a Bible verse, and I wanted to read the one I chose for this hymn to you guys. It's Psalm 95 2, and it says, Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. And that just really kind of sums up uh, this hymn that we can go to the Lord and sing to him, make a joyful noise. So on the end of the video, I ran out of room on my phone to continue filming. <laughs> so at the end of the video, all I did is I finished adhering down the little hearts on the bottom of the page and added um, praise the Lord on the banner and I added the date. So give this video a thumbs up if it inspired you and be sure to check out all the links in the descriptions below to the various resources I mentioned and be sure to head to my Etsy store and download your copy of the hymn lyrics today. And thank you for watching and remember to praise the Lord today. Bye everyone!